This is the George Elliott Hospital, a busy District General Hospital in Nuneaton. Over 300,000 patients pass through every year. She's had the fall with left knee swelling and I just want to rule out any pathology with an x-ray of the left knee. Our cameras have spent one week following the lives of the physician associates who work here. So we need advice to reduce his medication to renal dose. Yes. I think we need to re refer to renal. I do agree. I think you should blue light her back to us. That would be fine. This is a day in the life of a physician associate. Physician associates are health professionals with a generalist medical education which allows them to work in a variety of settings where they support and work under the supervision of experienced doctors. The profession emerged in America more than 40 years ago and is now being adopted by other countries as a means to improve and expand access to healthcare for patients in both hospital and general practice. The first course began in 1965 when the first graduates came out in 1967 um, and so we have nearly 50 years of experience with physician assistants as they're called in the US. Um, we have qualified over 100,000 PAs since 1967 and we work in every specialty. Physician associates support doctors in the diagnosis and management of patients. The nature of their training allows them to complete a number of roles including history taking, completing a physical examination, documenting diagnosis, performing diagnostic and therapeutic procedures, developing management plans for patients, and communicating planned care to the patients and families. Roles and duties vary. One such employer, George Elliott Hospital, use a unique employment and training model for their physician associates. In, in total we've got 10 physicians associates. We have got three permanent posts within specialties, that is in cardiology, respiratory and in acute medicine. Um, the rest of the physicians associates rotate round the specialties. One of the great strengths of the physician associate role is the versatility in the workplace. Physician associates are currently employed in such settings as general practice, mental health care and across hospital based specialties. Today, 27-year-old Chris is working a shift on call in one of the most challenging areas of the hospital, the emergency department. The reason I came into the role was I studied um, biomedical science as an undergraduate career. When I, went, when I reached the end of uh, my studies, I knew that I wanted to move into more of a healthcare profession, but I didn't quite know if I wanted to be a doctor or not. Obviously the course was being advertised and I saw a challenge in the role, a new method of introducing a different kind of patient care as a new whole profession. And obviously that's what drew me to it, the challenge of growing a new profession and being a pioneer in the workforce. Uche, the most recent in post, is getting to grips with her role on a respiratory ward. It's really interesting, it's quite challenging and it can be quite difficult some days um, because it's a new profession, um, patients are getting used to you, other healthcare professionals are getting used to you and also because most of us are new graduates we're getting used to being PAs as well. Um, so it's a challenge but it keeps you on your toes and it's quite interesting. Moni works on the gastro ward. She's passionate about helping others. I love my patients. There's nothing in this world that would change that. Um, I love my job. I found a lot of the clinicians, nurses, pro PA, they don't treat me any differently to any junior doctors or any, anyone else for that matter. Um, it's been good, I've enjoyed it. Teresa is faced with the challenge of an increasingly aging population. She swapped her administrative job to become a physician associate. I love the fact that I work in geriatric medicine. I don't want to do anything else. People think I'm crazy, but I really do just want to do geriatrics. Um, and if I'd gone to medical school and been able to be a medical practitioner in the normal way, I wouldn't have been able to go straight from medical school to doing geriatric medicine. 
Um, so that's what I really enjoy about being a physician associate is that I'm in one place in a specialty that I really am passionate about um, and I really feel that that enables me to make a difference for my patients. Physician associates have been employed continuously at George Eliot Hospital since 2010 when trainees first joined the hospital team as students. Back in 2010 we started off with just two. What we found very quickly with it just having the two physicians associate was that you know, they did create that stability in the areas. George Eliot Hospital is one of the largest employers of physician associates in the country. They believe that the role can make an invaluable contribution to improving continuity of care for patients. George Eliot, I think, has been one of the pioneers with the Physicians Associates uh, programme. We've uh, linked in with uh, Birmingham University when the original pilot scheme started uh, several years ago, about probably six or seven years ago and we volunteered to actually take trainees from the program onto our wards. We've really found them a very, very valuable resource. This has uh, you know, really changed a lot of uh, you know, things for the trust and helped us significantly in moving forward. The physician associates at George Elliott have had, I have to say, overwhelming positive feedback from the teams and the clinical colleagues that work with them. I mean, it's overwhelming, not just from the consultants, but actually from in the, the entire hierarchy of clinical colleagues that work at George Eliot. Everybody that works with physician associates day in, day out has said really very positive things about their contribution as clinicians, their contributions as colleagues, their contributions as team players. I've worked with the PAs uh, for a number of years and found them a very, very useful uh, uh, supplement to the medical team. Um, obviously when they first started we were a little bit unsure about their role but as we came to work with them more, I became very impressed with them, with their professionalism and also their ability to fill in gaps within the team. Following completion of their training course, physician associates at George Eliot Hospital spend their first years on various clinical rotations, following a similar path to that of hospital doctors in training. Eventually, they will be expected to choose a specialty where they will hone their skills and progress. Chris has spent the past three years rotating through a variety of medical specialties and will soon make the decision of which area he wants to settle in. Since I've been here for three years, I've rotated through all the medical specialties to include things like gastroenterology, respiratory medicine, acute medicine, care of the elderly. I'm quite pleased that when I took the job that I've been grown Obviously, the benefit of my rotations here have developed my clinical knowledge, which are helping me to deliver quality, safe patient care. Patient care and empathy are his passions. It's 11am and Chris is asked to make a diagnosis on a man who has been experiencing shortness of breath and an irregular heart rate. Hello, Mr. Webber. Hello. You comfortably? And very comfortable. Um, I just need to do an examination, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. You're able to just lift up your T-shirt for me? No problem. Thank you. And I'm just going to listen to your heart, okay? Mm -hmm. One of the key challenges initially was educating the workforce about the role of the PA. Um, I think we achieved it quite well here in making the PA rotate through medicine working through the different wards, obviously building up the picture of what a PA works as and what they can do. Okay, thank you. From that examination, I can see your heart's running quite slowly, roughly about half of what it should be. Um, so as I mentioned to you, you have something called atrial fibrillation and also, um, also um, complete heart black with um, hokum as well. If I've got a patient, uh, for example, that I'm not quite happy about, if I can see the, there's an issue with the patient in maybe something that I can see hasn't been recognised, something the patient's presented with, the clinicians are quite happy for me to approach them, either in person or via telephone if they're not on the ward, to um, discuss what the issue is. The PAs, are, they're really useful to us as nurses, they're definitely more um, accessible than the doctors tend to be and they're based here for quite a long period of time so we get to know them well, we get to work with them. I see the physician associate role um, as being part of a multi-professional team that can give much better patient care uh, through the developing healthcare pathways that we have, particularly in urgent and emergency care, but then also right across the, the healthcare that we give. They work closely with the doctors. Um, they can liaise with the nurses, and I think the nurses appreciate being kept up to date. Um, they can 
talk things over with the pharmacist, although the physician's associates cannot prescribe, um, they still have a good working knowledge of medication um, and can answer queries. Um, they can liaise with other specialties and they can liaise with other members of the wider um, team that treats the patients. I'll be very happy for a physician associate to treat me if I were ill because I know that they will be part of an integral clinical team. I know that they know their limits and will refer for support quickly and I've seen that happen. Uh, and I know that they, they will have been in the organisation for much longer than a junior doctor that will have either been there for a few weeks or a few months ready to move on to somewhere else. So actually my confidence is in that the construct that is reliable care delivered by somebody that knows the service and the organisation and has and been there for a long time. They're almost um, the sort of jam in the sandwich. They're a consistent workforce that um, adds to the safety and quality of the patient. So where we've seen junior doctors rotate around uh, teams, the physician associate is a stable workforce, which means they get to know their nursing colleagues, they get to know their consultant colleagues, and the allied health professions. In England, access to the two-year postgraduate physician associate training programme is increasing rapidly. There are currently five UK universities who offer physician associate training programmes. This number will increase in the coming year, with universities such as Plymouth and Reading preparing to launch courses of their own. All the courses in the UK follow the National Curriculum Framework, so it's two years full-time postgraduate diploma, 50-50 theory and practice. We at Birmingham have a very integrated style course, so students spend a lot of time in the clinical area from very early on, and they're always linking the theory, if you like, the theory of the anatomy of the shoulder to syndromes of pain around the shoulder, etc., etc. I think that's probably our key educational approach. The clinical placements that are required for physician associates are, are general practice, general medicine, accident and emergency, mental health, pediatrics, general surgery, and obstetrics and gynecology for a total of 1,600 hours of clinical placement. Of that, 200 can be in simulation, but the remaining 1,400 must be actual clinical placement hours. And that really um, allows the students to get a good amount of experience over the two years and seeing patients so that when they do qualify, they're comfortable in that environment. Within this trust, uh, what is available to us is uh, teaching, so we can go weekly teachings, got cardiology, x-ray teachings, um, and join along with the F1s, junior doctors. Um, and in terms of wards, so if I come across a condition I don't understand, I will ask my senior what it is and they will explain to me and I will go off and read about it. The clinicians, consultants, registrars are open to teaching us more, to give us more experience, more training and um, make us competent in what we do. 29-year-old Moni is settling down to an afternoon on the ward, following up on work from the morning ward round. Being a student and working as a fully qualified PA, I've had really different experiences at this hospital. It's such a new profession and not many people are aware of it. So a lot of the times you do get people, publics, even staff asking, what do you do, what's your title? It's 3pm and Moni has been asked to talk to a patient about her treatment plan. Earlier on, um, uh, one of the uh, bone doctors came to see yes, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been having some problems with your yeah. knees, is that right? Yeah. Communication is a very important um, skill to have, not just with patient care. My approach to patient care, or even customers for that matter, is to talk to them, to, to make them know that it is them that I'm thinking about, that it is them who are important to me, that they are number one priority. They might be looking in to give you an injection into your knee yes. to relieve the pain. Yeah, I had uh, uh, one of them a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how do you find that? It was, uh, it was okay, yeah. but it wasn't so bad then mm -hmm. okay. as it, it's got now. At the moment, again, what we're going to try and do is see what get get some pain management yeah. on this knee. Mm -hmm. So we'll wait for the doctor yes. to come back, the orthopaedic yeah. doctor to come yeah. back yeah. and tell us what it is that 
they yeah, plan yeah, to do yeah, yeah. and at the same time we'll get the physio to see you yeah. is that okay yes lovely sound you know. do you have any questions no you've you've helped me thank you you've helped me a lot while i've been in here in thank it. you yeah that's great okay so just call me if you need me yeah okay yeah thank, thank you so you. much yeah thank you i suppose okay. the concern would be that people would perceive us as uh, individuals or physician associates who are trying to take over doctors <coughs> I wouldn't say that that's what it, what it is that we are trying to do I don't feel like I'm taking over a doctor's role I feel like I'm participating in a team the role recently made national media with news breaking of plans to expand nationally hospital consultants are quick to respond there is a lot of scaremongering in the press about uh, certain uh, roles and certain uh, kind of uh, uh, activities in the NHS and the Physicians Associate seems to be one that the press seems to have got hold of. Uh, I mean, I do not think that there is any truth or any kind of uh, foundation for any of these kind of uh, wild claims. They're not doctors on the cheap, they would never say that they're doctors, but they fill, fill a role that is expanding in the health service. There's lots of different ways of working. We have to look at things like nurse specialists, uh, nurse consultants, uh, to fill in the gaps that already exist and to make the patient's journey smoother and safer. And I think PAs have got a really important part to play there. Every member of a team is extremely useful and that's, that's what the whole NHS is all about. It's basically teamwork. It's not possible for any one person to deliver the care that the NHS delivers. And I think I'd be a little um, worried about using that term doctors and the chief. I, I don't think that's really very right and fair to people who work extremely hard and, and, and work extremely well with, with us in, in, in our small district general hospital. This junior doctor explains how he's found working with a physician associate. Personally, I get quite upset when sometimes I read on social media people getting the wrong impression the physician associates. They feel that they're uh, somehow taking the jobs uh, from other junior doctors and that somehow junior doctor's numbers will have to be reduced. I don't think that's true. They're, they're not there to replace junior doctors, they're there to aid us, just as with other health professionals where we have nurses, physios. Th these are all independent roles and we need to work together in order to, to provide good patient care. So I personally feel that physician associates are a great benefit to the NHS and I hope that the numbers will increase because there's definitely not enough at the moment. I guess one of the surprises was around a spin that was put on physician associates which was that we are taking away jobs from junior doctors and that we didn't have, uh, we didn't have regulation. Um, and I think the major hurdle that PAs have at the moment is overcoming that lack of education because in reality it was actually a lack of awareness. Teresa works within the frail elderly service, working on the front line to help reduce unnecessary admissions. Teresa has been asked to assess an elderly patient. Morning, Edna. Well, how are you, Danny? Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Edna? So I'm once you introduce yourself to a patient and, and explain what a physician associate is, um, then it's good because you're then able to start to develop a good working relationship with the patient and they know what you're able to help them with. Relatives and patients both find it very helpful to have a constant member of the medical team on the ward. Uh, especially because often they won't want to ask a consultant um, to explain anything that's happened or if they're particularly concerned about um, a part of their mother or father's care. Okay. Okay. We don't have to go very far. Oh, that's a good job. I think that, that patients and relatives really do appreciate having that person who can take the often higher level medical knowledge and actually relate it to what it means to them um, and what it means to their lives and them living with their with their illnesses and helping to support their relatives. So I'll get Cole, the physio. I'll let him know how you got on today. All right. He might let you off, so I doubt it. I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. So at the moment, one of the big things that we're doing is establishing a faculty of physician associates within the Royal College of Physicians. So we will be the first non-doctors to have a, a faculty within a Royal College, uh, which means that for us, that's a real big boost because it means that the, that the doctors and physicians around the country are actually saying we're supporting physician associates. The Royal College of Physicians is a powerful and 
useful organization who advance the cause of medicine. Um, so the physician's associates should do well under the wing of the Royal College. Well, I'm very pleased that the RCP has taken them under uh, its wing and is going to develop their role. I think there's a lot that can be done in terms of making their profile higher, giving them extended roles, particularly I think about uh, prescribing, it would be very, very useful for them to have that. Physician associates must be able to prescribe and they can prescribe. What's interesting is, uh, almost unlike medical students, they actually get trained uh, in prescribing and the skills of safe prescribing. Uh, which I think is fantastic and it's a real pity that when they come out they can't actually engage with those skills. I guess the biggest challenge is prescribing rights that we don't have at the moment. Um, so it can be difficult to completely fulfil the role um, to the best of our abilities. It's been quite tricky in some respects when you need to help the team order certain investigations for patients uh, where you know what you need to order but it's just that legal issue that's holding us back. Uche has had a busy afternoon on the ward. One of her patients is on her way for a CT scan and she has been asked to put in a cannula. Hello, Hi. Diane. Hi, so I'm Uche. Usually these tests are done by other doctors in the team. By having the help of physician associates, they're able to see sicker patients um, or go off to clinic. Also, it helps when doctors are off on leave or on night shifts or just in other areas in the hospital in general, to have medical cover on the ward, people who can do cannulas and things like that. It's nice to have that extra person for advice, that extra professional to help with the MDT team basically on the ward, assisting with jobs that may be sort of something that a consultant can't take part in because he's somewhere else. So by fulfilling those skills, it benefits the ward greatly and the patient care. Back on the respiratory ward, there's no rest for Uche. She's just been asked to see a new patient. Hello, Mr. Sweet. It's Rob, isn't it? Yes. Hi, my name's Uche. So I really enjoy working with patients. I really enjoy treating them, managing diseases, uh, learning about um, healthcare in general and medicine. But it is hard <laughs> because so some people are set in their ways, so they're not open to new roles and new people coming in and different ways of training people. Um, some people are a bit scared about um, not getting the same quality of care that they would usually be used to and not seeing a doctor, meaning that they're not getting the right care that they should be getting. I came out with the first cohort of my university programme, so it has been hard. So I just hope that in time it gets a little bit easier, especially for people coming up, so that the profession uh, continues to progress and that hopefully we'll have opportunities to progress on our ladder. It's encouraging to see now that there are a number of uh, stakeholders that, begin, that are now aware of the workforce see the value of the workforce and are supporting its development. There is going to be a significant increase in demand for this particular role over the next decade or so and I think they are going to be an extremely valuable resource for the NHS. I think the physician associate role is integral to all of our future healthcare plans. It's a role that will become essential um, in and in a healthcare economy of increasing uh, demands. It's a really exciting time and I think that the thing that's most exciting is that because of the nature of the changing workforce in medicine, we have to think differently. We have to think about doing things differently and the physician associate is perfectly placed in terms of helping us meet the workforce demands of the future. The sun sets on another day in the life of a physician associate, but the hospital never sleeps. Over on cardiology, Chris's patient had a pacemaker inserted the next day. It's 5pm and Moan is looking forward to putting her feet up after a busy day on the gastro ward. Teresa continues to help develop the frail elderly service. Uche's patient's CT scan result was normal and she was discharged home later that day.